Hurricane Harvey destroyed hundreds of coastal homes and damaged thousands more. But even if you've driven through the hardest hit areas like Port Aransas and uh, out on Mustang Island, you'll notice that some homes made it through, others didn't. And chief investigative reporter Rick Sproul tells us that it's driving a new conversation about how to hurricane proof the coast. We all know there's no such thing as a hurricane proof home but some coastal homes do come closer to the idea than others. These concrete homes here in Port Aransas survived the worst of Harvey. They're still standing when so many other homes around town aren't. But you don't have to build a bunker to withstand hurricane force winds. Home builder Bart Brazelton took us inside a new home built to newer codes, literally tied together with metal. We tie everything from the top of the roof all through the walls, all the way down to the slabs. The result, a structure that can stand up to Harvey's power. One of the purposes was you may sustain some damage, but the structure is here. You have something to come home to. But what about the rest of us? Those of us whose homes aren't built to the newest codes. Corpus Christi City Councilman Greg Smith says those homeowners need to remember what matters most. This is what's protecting you. He's talking about shingles. Smith owns Pioneer RV Resort on Mustang Island. He suffered big losses, but the worst of those losses came when the shingles on his roof failed and the waters came rushing in. Any, any place you see a home without a shingle after the storm, this is what the insides are going to look like. It's a personal experience he hopes will help shape a new public policy aimed at building stronger roofs, not just stronger homes that I may have some folks saying we can't afford it. It's one of those things we can't afford not to do it. Rick Sproul, Six Investigates.